Just as deleting rows and columns is a very common and useful feature in the development of a worksheet, inserting and deleting cells and rows and columns is also very common and useful. Again, the key to inserting and deleting cells, rows, and columns is to first select where you want to make your edits. Excel will always insert a cell, row, or a column either above the selected cell or to the left of the selected cell. For instance, if I want to insert a cell in a range of cells, I would select where I want the new cell to go. So if I wanted to insert a new cell here above B7, I would select B7 and then using either the ribbon and the cells group and the insert command or by right clicking and choosing insert from the shortcut menu, I will initiate the insert. Notice that if I use the shortcut menu, I get a dialog box. If I choose shift cells to the right, it will cause this cell, the selected cell, as well as the cell to the right of it, each to move one cell to the right. If I choose shift cells down, it will cause just the selected cell and all the other cells in this column to move down. I'll go ahead and choose that and notice it moved everything down one cell. Now, if I wanted to insert through the ribbon, notice that I can click the Insert button, which will cause a cell to be inserted and everything moved down. And if I click the triangle next to the Insert option, notice that I have a choice of inserting cells, inserting sheet rows, sheet columns, or an entire sheet. I'll go ahead and say Inserting Cells, and when you go through this method with the ribbon, you can now choose from the dialog box to shift cells to the right or down or an entire row or column. I'll go ahead and say cancel on this. If you want to insert multiple cells, rows, or columns at once, select the number of cells, rows, or columns that you want to insert and then initiate the insert command. So let's say I wanted to put two columns between my product and my quantity column. I'll go ahead and choose two columns. And again, remember Excel will insert either above or to the left. And now when I come up here and choose insert, I'll go ahead and choose insert sheet columns and Excel will automatically insert two columns. Deleting a cell, row, or column is much the same as inserting. Again, always select the cell, row, or column that you want to delete and then use either the shortcut menu or the ribbon to delete. If you use the ribbon, you will find the delete command up here again in the cells group. So let me go ahead and select column B. I would like to delete that and then I'll just click the delete command. And because I've selected an entire column, when I select the delete command, that entire column will be pulled from the worksheet. You can delete multiple columns by choosing multiple columns and the same applies to rows and cells. So let's say I want to delete these cells right here. Actually we'll, we'll go like this, delete these cells. I'll come up here again and choose delete and delete cells. I want to shift cells from the left, I'll say OK and everything pulls over. Now if I want to delete these cells to pull everything up, if I choose delete from the shortcut menu, I will then say shift the cells up and it pulls it up. So you can see that deleting cells, rows, and columns is much the same as inserting. Now the delete command is more powerful than just pressing the delete key on your keyboard. The delete command actually removes the cells, rows, or columns and their contents from the worksheet as opposed to pressing the delete key on the keyboard. When you use the delete key, you are just deleting the contents of the selected cell, not the cell itself. When you insert or delete cells, rows, or columns on your worksheet, all cell references are affected and adjust accordingly, whether they are relative or absolute. Take a moment and practice using the insert and the delete key on a worksheet. If you'd like to use the worksheet that you see on my screen, you will find that in your Chapter 05 directory. It is called Shopping. You can open that up and practice deleting and inserting cells, rows, and columns. When you are finished, we'll continue on with our project. In our project, we want to add a row above our headings as well as a row above the word product list. Now open up your product list file 
and if you would like to start with a clean file for this exercise go ahead and open up from your chapter 5 directory in your Excel 2007 course files the 0508 start file this is a clean file now again we're going to insert a row above our category headings as well as above product list so to do that I will first choose row 2 the entire row and then I can either go through the ribbon and choose insert or I can right click and choose insert to insert a row above our category headings I can do the same here for product list I'll go ahead and use the menu command and I'll click the triangle and choose insert sheet rows and notice an entire row is inserted above our word product list this will get this file ready for the next movie go ahead and save this file and we will continue on to the next movie